What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. Today, I want to talk about Departure Supply, an event where you guys can actually get a guaranteed S rank selector, which is actually pretty damn cool. And you have a choice with, with one of these five characters. You have Karenina, you have Liv, Lee, uh, Kamoy, and you have Nanami. Now, I'm just going to go through all five of these guys, just provide a little insight as to whether or not you should really pull for them. Now, if you're a free to play player, guys, it's really risky to do this because in the next banner you're going to have fire live amplifier live a character that can buff up your entire team especially your fire team she can buff up any team to, despite the you know elemental differences but if they're fire she's going to buff them up an extra 10 percent which is a lot she is going to be an op character so if you already you know only have a certain amount of black cards and you're saving for her just keep doing that. Just keep saving for her. But if you do have some extra, if you are a spender or you have some extra black cards that you've been saving up for some time, you might want to consider this. We will be doing this today. I will show you guys exactly how many black cards it will take to be able to finish this complete thing. But you're going to have a choice of one of these five characters. And, you know, unfortunately, guys, you know, Karen and I'm just going by a practical standpoint in the game. Characters that are actually going to be more useful for you in the future. And as far as Karen Ian is concerned, unfortunately, guys, she just isn't going to be as strong as, say, other fire characters. Later down the road, Roland's going to actually become the meta whenever we get the Palawa banner, and we'll be able to team up Transcendence with our Constructs. That He's going to be the OP uh, meta character in there, and then later down the road after that, it's going to be Fire God Lee. In fact, I think seven months after Roland, then we're going to get Fire God Lee, who is the OP. So I wouldn't really recommend going for Karenina, unless she's your favorite character and you're just trying to level her up, or you just want to get her and have a little fun with your fire team. Nanami is kind of the same situation, but Nanami is going to get replaced by Gundam Nanami in the future, who is a better fire tank. So I really can't recommend either one of these characters. Now, Liv here will be a meta in the future. She is going to be a meta on your physical team, guys, uh, with the future Bianca and with Rosetta. They will be the meta physical team. So she is an option to go for and probably the character that I'll actually be choosing from this because, like I said, guys, she's gonna. this character is going to get a buff in the future and she's going to be OP for your physical team. Lee is a great character, guys. He's actually very strong. But, I mean, if you already have Alpha, I mean, if you're using Nier right now, then more than likely you're probably not using Lee, unless he's really one of your favorite characters. He's a tremendous character. But, again, guys, Bianca's going to outshine him in the future. And, honestly, Alpha is better than him if properly played. And then Conway, he is a meta dark tank character. I mean, in the future, guys, there's going to be a, another dark tank character in Karenina who will replace him. But that's, I mean, it's a good ways down the road before she does show up. I mean, it's months later before she's actually going to arrive. So he's still a really good pick if you don't have him for your dark team, especially if you already have Luna or if you don't have any dark characters, he might be a good choice for you. Now, how much is this going to cost? Well, let's find out. Now, I only have 2,000 black cards, but I do have, you know, some of these limited banner tickets. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these. Now, this kind of sucks for me because really I was kind of used, wanting to use all these for the upcoming live, but it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and use these weapon tickets here and start doing some pulls. I'm just going to skip it, guys, and we're going to see how much this is going to cost. So that's 50 right there. Here's 200, right? Okay, so we're up to 250, now we're going to be up to 650, okay, 650 and 600 is what, 1250, all right, 1250, uh, so 1250, so now we're looking at 2050. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We'll skip it. All right, so 2,050. So now we're not at 3,250. Okay. Skip that, baby. So now 3,250. Now we're up to 5,850. Okay, here we go. Got the weapon resonance. That's really, really nice. So 5,850. Now we're up to 7,850. OK. 
Okay. 7,850 plus 2,500 is about 10,350. Okay, so now we're up to 13,500. And we got our S rank selector. And you know, for 13,500 BC, I mean, you're getting these two pets. These are 2,500 black cards a piece. This is 5,000 black cards. And then an S rank selector, an S rank character can cost you up to 15,000 black cards. So it's a really good value. It's, it's about 20,000 black cards uh, for this. And you're also getting that weapon resonance, which really helps. And then you get some other materials as well. So again, you know, whether it's worth it or not really depends on you guys. I mean, if you think this is worth 13,500 black cards, uh, go for it. If you need any one of these characters out here, you know, go for it. But again, if you're saving up for Liv, just go ahead and keep saving your black cards. Wait for Liv to show up and then you can pull for her because she really will be insane. So let me know what you decided to do. Do you think that deal is worth it? And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. DD plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.